guys want to know a beautiful thing about trucking? The fact that I'm able to drive through the mountains and see the sunset and the moon rise at the same time. It's beautiful stuff. And then I drive through traffic in New York. It's really about balance. I woke up this morning on my money shoe. Grab my sack, hit the streets, I'm on some other shoe. Got a girl out of town with my other boot. Hit the mouth, blew it all on a bunch of shoes. They hit the club and turn a fry to a marsh pit. They hit the club and turn a fry to a marsh pit. Alright, y'all. I realized um, when I was editing this that it is long. So this is going to be a two part. But I just want to let you guys know that before we get into it. Um. So, this is just a piece of um, advice that one of my followers and one of the people that I subscribe to asked for. So, uh, here we go. Alright, what's going on YouTube? Uh, D-Boy Stance here. Coming at you guys um, with a response video. But before I do that, I want to give a couple of shout outs. Um, first of all... Of course, I'm going to shout out the person I'm making this response video to, uh, Grandma J. He uh, made a video asking, you know, about things that you need to know. Once you get out of TNT, you get ready to upgrade to your truck. Um, just random stuff you need to know. He had a list of things that he feels like you should know. I uh, also want to shout out um, Nick and Carla. Uh, they've been following me, and they just recently um, came to prom. And I think they are both in TNT as well. Um, so good luck to you guys. Um, let me know when you upgrade. And hopefully this list will help you guys when you upgrade as well. Also, if you guys are sneakerheads, um, just a little something different. My cousin, JR, uh, he talks about shoes, Jordan releases, all of that stuff. I'm not a big sneaker head, not a big sneaker fan, but um, he is, and if you are, you guys can follow him as well. Alright, so what I'm going to talk about um, is tools that I feel like you need once you get onto your own truck. You can give or take some of these things, but I feel like these are like basics that you need. Prime, of course, gives you a list of things that you need. I'm just going to add to that, um, I have a list here, um, that I'm going to go over. First thing is a claw hammer, um, or just a, a hammer. Um, you'll need that because you just never know when you may need it. <laughs> like I said on the protection video, you never know. Um, but seriously, you may need to, um, get your tandems, um, if you're in the cold, your lock might get frozen. You might need to beat your lock. You'll need the hammer, the, the regular claw hammer. You'll also need a rubber mallet. Uh, the rubber mallet um, is basically for checking the tires on your trailer and on your truck, especially when it's cold or when it's really hot, to make sure that your tires are okay. You'll hear a sound if one of them is, sounds flat or you know overinflated you'll be able to tell and just ask your trainer to show you um what to look for when you go around the truck with your rubber mallet wd-40 you will also need wd-40 sometimes you'll get stuck with a trailer that will not slide the tandems will not slide and if that happens and you ridden around and tried to put it up on a curve and what have you, um, you might have to spray a little bit of WD-40 on it. Road Assist told me this themselves. I wanted to make sure before I did it, um, because I got a trailer where the tandems wouldn't slide. I tried everything I could. I rode around, I hit a curve. I backed into a dock. They would not slide. He told me to spray a little bit of WD-40 on both sides. Wait. Ride around. Try again. 
that work. So you got to keep a little bit of WD-40 on your truck. And it's also good for um, on the reefer trailers. Some of them have the tails that open up. Um, sometimes those joints get a little rusty, a little stuck. So a little bit of WD-40 works for that as well. Bolt cutters. You will need bolt cutters. Some of the seals that are on your trailer will be bolts. And sometimes the receiver won't have a bolt cutter. So you'll be stuck trying to open this bolt with no bolt cutter. Um, so you need a good heavy duty pair of bolt cutters. You can usually find those at um, Home Depot or Walmart. Wire cutters and or long nose pliers. If you can, get the long nose pliers that have the wire cutters at the end of them. A funnel or two. Um, I have a regular funnel and then I have a funnel that is extendable or it moves. Um, you'll need a funnel obviously to put your fluids in the truck. I have the extendable one because the fluids that go in the APU are hard to get to with a regular funnel. So I need the extendable one, or the flexible one, to put the fluids in my APU um, with that one. A flashlight, a good sturdy heavy duty flashlight, preferably one that does not use batteries, one that you can recharge. Work gloves, you will need work gloves. You will need a pair for pumping gas and a pair for like dialing down your trailer and opening up your trailer. Um, you want to keep them separate. You want to keep the ones that you pump gas with, obviously, under the truck because you don't want that gas sent in your truck. And then you want the pair that you, you know, open your trailers with or crank your trailer down with in the truck. Pens and pencils. You will need pens and pencils. Um, you're always going to be probably writing something. Um, whether it be your trip number, uh, directions, something of that nature. So pens and pencils and a notebook or two just with some paper in it. Like so. Windex. You will need Windex. Um, winter, spring, summer, fall. Your windows get dirty inside and out. So you want to make sure that you are able to see. So you better make sure you have some windows. Um, de-icer as well, uh, especially since it's the winter season, you definitely need de-icer for your windshield, um, depending on where you're going to be. Kitty litter, I learned this the hard way. Of course, you guys saw me get stuck on the yard, um, and that probably could have been avoided and me having a chain up could have been avoided if I would have had some kitty litter or some sand or something that I could have put under my tires for traction. Low locks, of course, you get from the terminal. That's part of your upgrading list. Um, you'll get those you know, on your way out. You'll need at least two, and you will pick up some along the way. I think I'm up to... Right now, 